The University of Missouri is proud to be one of 34 public universities in the Association of American Universities. The physics department is proud to contribute to this elite status through some of the very uh, unique research programs and uh, collaborations and uh, also achievements in our department. Our long-standing strength in the department has been in condensed matter physics in collaboration with the University of Missouri Research Reactor. The research reactor with 10 megawatt power output is the the highest power university operated research reactor in the country. It hosts six beam lines with neutron scattering instruments. The IGERT grant is a grant from the National Science Foundation that is designed to train the next generation of neutron scattering scientists. We are proud to have a considerable part of our condensed matter physics effort to be devoted to addressing some of the most urgent and important issues of our time. The Alliance for Collaborative Research and Alternative Fuel Technology is a group of researchers here at the University of Missouri in physics, chemistry, and engineering, all working towards the same goal of making alternative fuel vehicles more attractive uh, to consumers. Specifically, the group looks at hydrogen and natural gas storage for vehicles, as well as home refueling for the natural gas. This will not only reduce our dependence on foreign oil, but it'll also reduce the amount of pollutants that go into the air, specifically those from transportation. We've also been uh, one of the first departments in the, uh, in the country to uh, spearhead an effort in biological physics uh, before other universities felt this was an important thing for the 21st century. Our research effort is is geared mainly towards studying biological molecules. And in particular, what we like to study are um, what are called membrane proteins and membrane systems in general. One of the things we're most interested in is just basically fundamental biophysical discoveries. Uh, you know, how does protein A interact with protein B? I like working in this lab because it really is a combination of disciplines in that, you know, it's a physics lab, but they have a lot of biological aspects and chemical aspects. Uh, we are an experimental condensed matter physics group with a focus on organic semiconductors. Our research is at the interface of physics, chemistry, uh, material science and engineering. The application here is in low-cost plastic solar cells uh, which are an alternate uh, source of power. This research was uh, initiated um, because of the experimental efforts here in organic photovoltaics and uh, hopefully the theoretical progress that we can contribute will lead to better uh, organic solar cells. The idea of Physics First is that uh, physics should be taught before chemistry and before biology in high school. We conduct professional development for ninth grade science teachers so that they learn physics and they learn to teach physics for ninth grade students. The first round of the program was funded by the uh, Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education through a grant from the Education Department. And the second round, which is what we are on now, is funded by the National Science Foundation. The Physics Teacher Education Coalition, or PhysTech for short, is a national project aimed at increasing the total number of physics teachers. One of the key things that we've done is to create a learning assistantship program, which means that our uh, physics majors and physics education majors that are interested in, in teaching can work in a local high school physics first classroom. So we're actually building on that physics first collaboration. But we hope that some of the program components that we have put together here will impact institutions across the state. The University of Missouri is one of the top 10 uh, universities in the country for successful integration of undergraduate research with education at large. Participating in research as an undergrad is really quite exceptional. Um, you really get to see 
the theories and the information that you learn in your class um, really put to use. I also think it's just given me a huge awakening about what research is and um, the doors that research, specifically in physics, can open. Our culture of collaboration between disciplines really makes us a place where it's really true that the whole is more than the sum of its parts.